It's known as the country's oldest cheese company, and they're based right here in the Bay Area, so you know that you have to be Gouda. Joining us now from the Marin French Cheese Company is Bonnie Kaufman. Bonnie, thanks so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Hi, Olivia. Thank you for having me. Yes. Now, it's pretty cool to know that this is the oldest cheese company here in the entire country, In the correct? entire country. Wow. So how did it all get started? Well, we've been operating in our historic creamery on the border of Marin and Sonoma counties since 1865. Mm -hmm. And in 1865, a family of Illinois cheesemakers moved to California, kind of following the gold rush migration, um, mm -hmm. and discovered, you know, Northern California is perfect dairy land. And uh, they purchased a 700 acre ranch, and we're still there today. And then here, fast forward, here we are so many years later. Yeah, over 155 years later. That's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and interestingly, we have one of the cheeses here today that was one of the first cheeses that was ever made by our creamery. So, so what is one of the first cheeses that was ever made by the creamery? That's Petite Breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, so it's this little guy right here. Right here in the front? Yep. Star of the show. And if you'd like a toothpick. Perfect. Um, we specialize in soft ripened cheeses. So that's mm -hmm. like the Brie style cheese with the white bloomy rind. Mm -hmm. um, but what's unique about Petite Breakfast is that it's an unaged Brie. So you'll notice it doesn't have that white rind on it mm -hmm. um, and that was developed in the 1800s there was an egg shortage due to wow. the gold rush and so there was need for like a quickly available delicious protein source um, yeah. and so our founder decided to go to market with the cheese before it had ripened and little did he know that it would still be one of our best sellers over 150 years later. That's so amazing. I love that backstory too, all these little facts about it. Now, when it comes to the process of coming out with these different cheeses and figuring out each year what people really love, how does that work? Yeah, we really try to strike the right balance between like classical French technique and what we call like our California innovative pioneering spirit. So all of our soft ripened cheeses use recipes that are based on traditional French cheese making techniques, but then our coastal California terroir and some unique ingredients make them a little bit more innovative and special. So for instance, we have our triple creme brie right here here, which is like a brie lover's dream, exactly what you'd expect it to be. But then we also have our petite ash, mm -hmm. which is an ash ripened brie. So you get that dark kind of ash rind ash layer right under the rind mm -hmm. for visual appeal and it also gives it like a bit of an earthier flavor um, and then one of my favorites is this petite jalapeno so that's Ooh. another triple creme brie but of course we're Californians we like things a little interesting and spicy so we've added some pickled red and green jalapenos in there oh my gosh so all of the good stuff and I love how you added different foods in there that are perfect for pairings and when it comes to the shop Yes. What can people expect when they come in and visit the factory? Yes, um, I'm so glad you asked. One of our biggest um, points of pride is our amazing location in West Marin. In addition to being a creamery, we're also a really wonderful cheese shop, cafe, and we have beautiful picnic grounds. So all of our cheeses that we make are always available at the shop. One in particular I love to highlight is Golden Gate. Mm. This is a washed rind triple creme, so it's going to be a little bit more pungent, and that can be the hardest of our cheeses to find out in the marketplace. So I always recommend people come straight to the source, come to Marin French Cheese Company, get yourself some Golden Gate, anything else that you would want to make a picnic to enjoy by the pond or to bring with you to wine country, we have available there and it's it's stunning. I like to tell people, you know, visit a California yeah. culinary landmark. Beautiful. Well, before I let you go, I feel like I have to try at least you one of these cheeses. You have to taste some cheeses. So how about we try the star of the show? This is, like you said, one of your best sellers, right? Petite breakfast, yeah. So you All can right. grab that. And what's unique about this compared to kind of your more traditional brie and you'll taste it, mm -hmm. a little bit springier, a little bit mm -hmm. more tangy and toothsome. Mm -hmm. Um, and we like to say, even though it's called Petite Breakfast, it's good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good any time of day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like like ha how you said it's it's different from a traditional brie. The texture is slightly different. The taste is amazing. It's that saltiness, the creaminess. You get it all in one bite. This was so delicious. Bonnie, thank you so much for joining us here. Of course. Of the day. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, of course.